Okay, so in this last video about DLP, I'm going to do a demo for you and a very quick demo. And I will be presenting you with two use cases, one with a predefined detector and another one with a detector that I have created. So I did create two rules and one detector. Let me show you the rules that I have created. So I created a test predefined detector rule that is very generic. <laughs> And the content of this one is it's going to trigger on file creation, modification, uploading and sharing. And it's going to affect the whole organization and the condition. And just for the sake of demonstration there, I am saying or I am selecting to match a domain name. So whenever I have any document with a domain name inside it, you know, XYZ, Google.com, whatever domain that you want to put there, it's going to block the external sharing. And this can be a reporting rule only. If I don't select any action, then it will only log an entry in the logs so that you can view it later on. But then I'm choosing to block the external sharing. The other rule that I have created, it's called test custom detector. And again, this one will apply to the whole organization. Again, it's going to trigger on the file creation modification, uploading and, and sharing. It's going to affect all of the content in there. And I will show you the detector that I have created for this. And the action here, it's going to disable the download, copy and print options for the file for the viewers and commenters. So this file can be screen only file. So these are the rules and let me show you the detector that I have created for this. So let me go back to data protection and go to manage detectors. This is the custom detector that I have created, which is going to match a word list. And for now, I only have one entry in this word list, which is project XYZ budget. So I'm assuming that I am having a project and some users might share content for this project to the outside and I don't want. And if they share the content to the outside, then this should be screen only content where people cannot modify or cannot download or print or you know, copy anything of that content. It's just for their view only. So these are the rules that I have set here. And let me open a new document, which is actually opened here. And let me type a name for this. So let me type, for example, mydomain.com and users list. So this file contains domain name. If you notice a moment ago, this sharing button was showing different icon, but now it's showing or it's telling me that document contains sensitive data and I cannot share it to the outside. So if I try to share, let's say I want to share it to my own domain or my own Gmail. And when I share it, it's going to tell me that this item contains restricted content and therefore cannot be shared outside of the organization. So, yeah. Now, if I make another document, and when I type anything in this document, so testing doc new. So when I type, for example, this is a then for project XYZ budget. So now I have added the other sensitive content or the other word in this document. And then if I go to share and if I go to sharing settings or restrictions, you will find out that the option to download, print and copy is disabled because your administrator blocked that option because this is a sensitive content for your organization. So now I can share this as a editor, but if I share it to viewers, then they can only see or they can only view the file as a viewer. They cannot copy or they cannot do anything to this file. So this is my Gmail and if I go to file, 
you see I cannot make a copy and I cannot download and I cannot print it's it's out of the screen actually <laughs> so I cannot print as well and I can only see the file on the screen and I cannot even right click and you know copy the content so this is the end of the topics about DLP I hope this demo did give you some good insights and give you some good idea on how DLP work and what you as an admin can do and configure for your end users in the organization and how you can create the detectors and the rules and how you can then add the detectors to the rules.